Well, the loot update seems to be working a treat. I'm hearing a lot of positive responses. I'm seeing a lot of positive threads on Reddit. A lot of members in my Discord are reporting positive news. And a lot of people now have their general feel good feeling and are starting to enjoy the game more. It's a looter shooter, right? However, in that video that I made yesterday, I did say I was going to be making another video based on scaling. Well, this is that video. As you would expect, you would be getting stronger as your power level goes up, right? Well, that's not the case in Anthem. But there is a caveat and I'll get to that in a bit. First of all, I want to say a massive thank you to Reddit user Temperhood for actually doing a lot of the legwork for doing a massive write-up of how this actually works. And I'll be leaving a link to his actual thread on Reddit in the description below, so if you want to go into more intrinsic depths as to the complete and utter findings, that's a really nice place. But what I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you two scenarios. One, where I've only got a single legendary weapon equipped, and another one where I've got my maximum possible gear score available and I'll be pitting them against each other. So what's important to note here that you can see in both clips being played right now is that the weapon damage is unaffected completely and entirely by your gear score. It's pretty much based on the weapon itself. Here I've got a gear score of 77 and I'm doing 7100 damage. Here I've got a gear score of 717 and I'm doing 7100 damage. So as you can see, my gear score for my weapon makes absolutely zero difference. So there we have an immediate problem, right? Because what's the point of the gear score? Well, then we come to the actual crux of the situation, your ultimate and your melee. Now your ultimate and your melee is actually affected by your gear score. This is 100% true. If you have a single legendary item equipped, the game registers you as a level 77 because you still have to have equipped two level 1 items, right? Your L1 and your R1 items. So taking those into account, the formula that we're looking at is power plus any other power that you're using that is above 30. So level 1 items are not counted in this equation. So it's power plus whatever power you're using divided by the number of items. It doesn't take into account anything if you don't have it equipped. So if you have 9 slots, for example, if you don't have anything equipped in the other 8 slots, it doesn't count. If you've got level 1 items equipped in those other slots, they don't count. What it looks at is anything above 30, and the range that it's looking for is 30 to 75. So we essentially have a 45 level bracket of what the game is looking for, right? So if I now go in, and as you're seeing here, I'm just creating a new loadout and I'm now equipping my legendary item. I'm a level 77. Technically, this is now a level 75 power because we don't count the level one. So we got 75 plus zero because of the level one plus zero for the other level one divided by one. That gives us a total power of 75. Now, if you look at my loadout here, where I've equipped all the highest level items I've got. So we've got two legendary weapons. We've got a masterwork ordinance, we've got a legendary one, we've got two legendary components, we've got six masterworks and an epic support item. If you divide all of these, my power level on the one that's got everything equipped drops down to 65. Now this is a big deal, right? That's a 10 power level in difference because what the formula does in the background is it actually divides your gear by the power slots. So you're actually weaker when it comes to your power having everything equipped. But this is only for melee and ultimates, and that's the caveat here. Your actual skills, the L1 and the R1 skills that you have for your javelin, these will be insanely weak. They will pretty much be pointless. When I used them, I was getting 400 damage in GM1, which is completely and utterly redundant and pointless. It's useless. However, what this proves is that the scaling for your melee and ultimate is completely dependent on the gear you've got and the gear score you have is misleading. When I went in with a single power level 75, you'll see here that my ultimate does 109,000. My melee does 50,000 damage. Now this is basically with one legendary equipment. You'll also notice that my legendary marksman rifle is doing 7,100 damage on the headshots and 3,100 under body shots. Now, if we switch over to my actual 
fully geared max level javelin, you'll see that my ultimate, it does between 50 and 60,000 damage, which is basically in line with what I was saying, and my melee is now doing 25,000 damage. And this is because the formula working in the background is not factoring in items I don't have equipped, and it should do this. This is a big problem, because if you're building your javelin build based around your ultimate and your melee, you're better off just going in there with a single 75 because that will be the maximum you can get. That immediately puts you at max. There's no reason to farm any loot. This is this is broken. So what they need to do to simply fix this problem is to make sure that if anything is not equipped in any slot, it will have an immediate minimum level of 30 power. That's what it will equate. So if you don't have anything there, count it at 30. That means at that point, Every slot is used, and when it's used, that means this situation won't be happening because in order to get stronger, you have to equip items. Right now, your inscriptions and skills and everything else is pointless. If you can go in there and absolutely decimate everything with your melee, I mean, 50,000 damage per melee, and this is on the same environment, same mobs, it, the, the conditions were replicated to the T. It's pretty bad. So as of right now, when it comes to your melee and your ultimate, it's clear based on these two videos that you're seeing that were taken under the same conditions, having a single level 75 item will yield you double the damage that you would get in a fully kitted out javelin. So the mass here is clearly broken, but the formula, as I said before, is pretty much power level plus anything above 30 divided by the number of items you have equipped. And this is where the problem is, guys. I'm happy that loot is dropping, but if the loot is pointless, then we have a problem, right? So hopefully Bioware can see this. I hope they've been reading the thread that Temperhood has actually put out. Now the simplest option here would be, you know, to place everything there as a level 30. Now I know what you're going to be saying. Well, what if I just started new and I've got a new javelin and I'm going in and I unlock the first component? Isn't it better for me just to leave it on its own and not equip anything because that way it's at level 30, so my power level is going to go up. Yes, and this highlights the final problem of the situation. So, what they need to do is basically start counting level 1 items. Because if they did start counting level 1 items based on your current available slot, so even if you have nothing equipped in the slot, it will still count as level 1. With just the three slots that I have available here, I would have a power level of 25 and this would impact me greatly. But let's say, for example, I could have also equipped something in the support slot, right? So what would that give me? So if we took the formula in hand, so it'd be 75 plus one plus one plus one, the L1 skill, the R1 skill, and the support skill, without the components yet available, because we wouldn't have had that if it's a fresh account, then my power level at that point would be 19, not 75. So what the game needs to do in order to fix this is make every single slot count in its current level. Not wait until it gets to level 30, not wait until it gets to a 40. Literally any slot that's not in use counts as the level one. If you have anything in there that's below 30, then it will count that value and scale your level based on that. Right now, it's not doing this. And because of that, the game is fundamentally broken when it comes to scaling. It's Honestly, it's a simple fix. Just enable every slot to count as level one if it's not in use. And by not in use, I mean if it's unlocked and you haven't equipped anything. Yes, again, this only affects your ultimate and your melee. But at the same time, your weapon damage isn't scaled at all to anything. There is no scaling for your weapon damage at all. I'm at level 75 here, level 65 there, and honestly, the damage is identical. There is no difference. So I hope Bioware see this and they can start making changes. But the simple fix here is to make every slot that's available to you a minimum of level one. Therefore, the scaling would immediately break and force the user to start upgrading as they normally should when they get better loot. And then the higher the gear score you get based on your loot, that in turn will affect your ultimate and your melee. As of right now, if you're building a melee build or you're building an ultimate build and wish to spam those, your best bet is to create a new loadout and honestly, just go out with a single 75 item 
with the level ones equipped and just spam those use the legendary weapon as your main weapon burn through everything because you will be burning through everything and then use your melee and ultimates to just clean everything else up it makes a huge difference to damage your melee is doing double the damage your ultimates doing double the damage so bioware please you fix the loot i'm hearing lots of good reports fix this as well well guys leave a comment below let me know what you think share your thoughts hopefully uh, we can get bioware on board with this and we can get a fix for this soon again it only affects your ultimate and your melee it doesn't affect your skills so there is that so if you're going for a skill build this definitely won't work for you but you know it's still a problem and it needs to be addressed and where i'm reading people saying that this can't be fixed this can't be addressed this is a fundamental problem at its core i don't believe it is and a simple fix for this unlike how it is now where everything only counts from level 30 and above for it to count from level one and above if you don't have anything in that slot equipped and it's available it will revert down to a level one item and that's it therefore the formula that they have in place now will actually work so there's no change needed to the actual formula of the core of the game what's needed is a change to how it calculates that formula and that shouldn't be that difficult i hope in order to get patched in and fixed well guys that's pretty much it for this video i hope you've enjoyed it i hope it's helped clear some stuff up and until the next time remain legend